So this year, we are on the brink of 15 years of doing a national career leadership experience in Los Angeles, California. You know what's crazy? If you were to ask me when I was a student, I never thought this would happen. If I were to be honest with you, the only reason this happened is because I was on a plane coming from Jacksonville, Florida, from a, a fraternity sorority advisor conference, and I had this idea of creating a conference that I felt was needed because I felt more students needed more leadership training and more opportunity to position themselves for career success. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no team. I didn't have no institutional support. I just had a vision with a purpose. And somehow, some way, we got through the first year. And the first year was so powerful that we couldn't stop. And then we got through the second year. And then we got through the third year. And then we got through the fourth year. And going into the fifth year, we won an award. We were considered the number one leadership development conference by the NASPA Student Leadership Knowledge Community. We won an award and we had momentum and lives were being changed. And then life, someone say life. Life happens. Say, what do you mean, Dr. J? Well, I got a phone call from three of the members of our leadership team. And they said, we have to step down, not because we don't believe in the vision, not because we don't like the vision, but we have to step down because we have too many things that we have going on in, right now in our life. Because again, life be happening. Things happen. And I remember at the time, it was during a time when I was getting ready to get married. I was traveling the country. I was speaking. I had so many things that were going on. And I was like, I have no idea how this is going to happen with all the things that are going on in my life. In essence, I was so at capacity in my life I was like, how in the world is this going to happen? So I got to be honest, I started to think about, I'm just going to shut it down. It's making an impact. It's making a difference. It's inspiring. There's tangible results. There's tangible transformation. I'm inspired. I love doing it. I love being a part of it. But I'm going to be honest, I'm tired. It's too much. I don't know if I have the capacity to do it. And here I am in the car and I'm talking to my wife and we're having a conversation and I'm telling her how I feel. And then she looks me dead in my eyes as he says, Joshua, why did you start? And I said, what? She said, why did you start? And I began to think about why well, I started because I believe in the power of leadership. And I believe that leadership changes the world. And I believe if we can inspire the next generation, the next generation can make our community, our nation, our world a better place. I began to tell her I, I started because I felt like there's a lot of students that are going to college, but then they have no idea what they want to do with their career. And I understand that in order to, to advance in your career, you need career readiness, you need mentorship, you need support. I created because I wanted to create a legacy and I wanted to make an impact and I wanted to do something that was bigger than myself. Speaking is good, but I think this could be bigger than myself. And I begin to share with her the why and I begin to share with her the purpose. And all of a sudden I got motivated. I don't know what happened. I was like, I can't give up. I can't throw in the towel. I said, I don't know how this thing going to happen. But somehow it's going, it's going to work out. I don't know if you've ever been there before where you're ready to throw in the towel. You're ready to give up. You don't have the numbers. You don't have the people. You feel like, ah, this just ain't it. I was there. I was there. But I remind myself of my why. I was motivated. I was encouraged. And I began to go forward. And as I went to go forward, over some years we've impacted 12,000 plus lives. They've went on to work for companies such as those on the screen, as well as all across the country. We've done, we've done conferences in Houston, in San Jose, in New York. We launched a first-gen career conference in Miami, Florida that is going strong. It's going to our fourth year. We had the most people ever just two weeks ago. In essence, things are growing, things are moving, but most importantly, lives are being changed. But why did it happen? It happened because I had a why. So I'm curious in the room today, maybe not today, maybe, maybe it's not happening yet, but when you get to a moment like me and you're tired and you're overwhelmed and you're like, I'm just going to give up. It's good, but I'm going to give up. Ask yourself the question, why did you start? Why did you join? Why did you do what you do? Because what I realized is when I identified my why, 
It gave me the strength and the motivation to keep going forward. 